Hey guys, welcome back to the channel once again. Ken Roy here. Uh, where do I start? Now I'm sure you can probably see from the title. Um, unfortunately, my family and I, we've come down with COVID-19. This is actually the first time I'm coming outside in the past three or four days. And um, it's been really, really awful. Now, there are many people who say that there is no such thing as COVID-19, that COVID-19 is a myth. Um, it's just made up by the government, all of these conspiracy theorists. What I will say to that is don't listen to anybody that says that. COVID-19 definitely does exist and you can catch it despite what some people may say to you. And yeah, we're living proof of that. Now if you're new to this channel guys, I want to say a huge thank you for stopping by and checking out this video. And if you haven't subscribed so far, now is your chance to do so. So please hit that subscription button and click that little notification icon. As soon as a new video is uploaded, you'll be notified. Now I've been blessed enough to just celebrate another year, another birthday. And unfortunately, um, as well as bringing in the new year with a birthday, unfortunately, I've picked up COVID. Now sad to say, it's not just me, my wife, Naomi and myself have all got COVID. And I'm pretty sure if Abigail was to get a test, she'll probably test positive. Now, of course, we're one big happy family and the chances are if somebody within the house gets it, we're all going to get it because we're oftentimes playing together. You know, the kids are jumping in our beds, hugging, kissing, you know, all of the normal stuff that loving families do, right? So unfortunately, we're all down with COVID. Now, thankfully, the girls are doing really good. Um, you know, what they've said about kids not being as heavily affected by it seems to be true. And I'm really, really thankful to God for that. But as for us as adults, yeah, it's been rough. <laughs> and I know that there are other people who are really struggling with COVID at this time and my prayers goes out to them. So how I've experienced COVID, it's literally been like having a flu, but think of having a flu, but worse. Um, so a lot of the symptoms that you normally get with flus, you know, the headache, the sore muscle, the, you know, your back being all stiff, runny nose, sore throat, headaches, you name it, all of those things um, I've sort of experienced over the past three or four days. However, what I have found different is that it's sort of taken stages where as soon as one phase is over, something else seems to have taken over. Now, the good thing is that we're on the mend and hopefully in the next day or two, we should hopefully feel a lot better, um, back to our normal self anyway. Now, I say this to say that there are many people out there that says COVID doesn't exist, um, COVID is not real, but I would like to publicly say that, of course, COVID is real. Um, don't listen to those people who say that this pandemic isn't real. It's all made up by the government. Um, it is definitely real. So please, whatever you do, protect yourself, keep yourself safe and look after the people who you love because the reality is that that's what really matters at the end of the day. Now I've said my piece and I'm just going to leave it at that, you know, because the reality is that I just wanted to share my experience. I don't want to get all political, um, but, you know, I just want everybody who's watching this to make sure that they're looking after themselves. And if you have had COVID before, you probably know exactly what I'm talking about if you had some of the similar symptoms. Um, but I hope that you're all doing well and staying safe. Um, so this is my first day out into the fresh air and it feels really good I, I really needed this the other part of this video that i wanted to make actually was just to talk about some of the things that i want to do in the next coming weeks now there's just so much stuff on our to-do list here in the malcolm household honestly i think i'll need an extra video just to list all of them these birds seem to be having the time of their life why not <laughs> absolutely love the outdoors like i was saying guys i just wanted to give you guys a quick update um there's so many videos that i wanted to do but unfortunately not being well i sort of curtailed that a bit so you're getting this video unfortunately but hopefully it will give you a bit of information on what we'll be doing in the weeks to come now there's two main projects that i want to do on the outside in our garden because chances are this summer we're going to need to utilize our garden even more i know that um lockdown is sort of ended 
but the reality is that this pandemic is clearly still here and so you know we're going to need our outdoor spaces for us and for our children to play potentially for family to come and visit and um, you know just to get that fresh air and be out in nature really so there's two main things that i need to do in the garden the first one is actually a shed that needs to be built now i've been searching and hunting for a shed and i haven't been able to find the perfect one which will basically match the balance on price plus also um, you know quality so I'm trying to strike a balance there um, so far I've seen one that I like and hopefully in the weeks to come I will be purchasing that but I need to also create a base a foundation to which this shed will actually sit on okay so that's one and the second one is that greenhouse do you remember that greenhouse project that we started a few months ago last year where I got a free greenhouse um, on Facebook marketplace that was in need of some TLC I had to go and dismantle it one of the hardest things I've ever had to do by the way now if you haven't seen this video yet please go and check out the link above I'll put the link above so that you can check that out to see where we've gotten so far with this project now I've got really really big dreams for this and I'm hoping and praying that it will come together according to plan and we're planning on putting the greenhouse on the opposite side of the garden um, to the shed so that way we'll have a nice um, balance not necessarily cemetery but at least we'll have one building on one side and another on the other side now I'm, I'm trying to maximize the space as much as possible uh, because of course we've got a huge trampoline plus the, the seating area so a lot going on but um, yeah so those are the two projects that I have up and coming but the weather isn't particularly great at the moment today's quite nice even though it's cold and crisp um, we've got a bit of sunshine and you know you almost get the sense that spring is on its way but we're still in winter so who knows what tomorrow may bring now unfortunately I'm not feeling very well I'm not at my optimum strength so I can't push myself too much uh, because what I would be doing today on a day like this is I would actually be starting one of our projects which is to create the base for our shed um, now I've got some old paving slabs which I will be using to create a base for our shed to sit on but like I said, I'm not going to overdo it today because that's quite labor intensive. So that's for a future video. OK, guys, I'm just going to leave it there today. That's a little roundup of where we are at the moment. And like I said, there's other projects on the inside of the house, which I'm sure I'll be bringing to your attention shortly. But we've still got a few more planning and a few more things to do. I'm going to head back in now as I think um, I need to warm myself up a bit. Later on, I hope to be taking the family out for a walk and hopefully we can get some exercise as we continue to, to you know, get better from this virus but thank you guys so much for all your well wishes those of us who have messaged us on our socials really appreciate it celebrating another year of birthday which is always a nice thing as always guys thank you so much for watching i really really do appreciate it and do stay tuned this is kenroy saying i'll see you when you see me take care